Breaking news coming in at the top of five. It's double brazenness by the thugs who attacked the Aam Aadmi Party office earlier today. First, the vandalism at the Aam Aadmi Party office in Koshambi on the outskirts of Delhi. And then the Hindu Raksha Dal took its hooliganism further by besieging a police station where the man accused of the attack was held. Twelve of these goons who laid siege to the police station have been detained and sent to the police lines. The man behind the attack has been identified as Pinky Chaudhary and was arrested by the Sahibabad police. When grilled by the cops, he remained unrepentant, saying he did it in the interests of religion. Ankit Tyagi is live with us. He was there and he brought us the first pictures that broke uh, initially before you saw them anywhere else here on headlines today. Uh, Ankit, uh, Pinky Chaudhary, the Hindu Raksha Dal, all individuals and uh, entities, uh, you know, that several people will be hearing about for the first time today. But the real story is the utter brazenness with which they're completely unapologetic about this absolutely shameful attack. Absolutely, Shiv, no doubt about that. Uh, uh, there are no words uh, uh, to condemn this attack. In fact, all these people, uh, when they came here and started uh, sloganering against Prashant Bhushan and uh, Arvind Kejriwal and later started throwing bricks and then used uh, a stick and other material to break uh, into the Ahmadni Party office, then went back to their houses. It, it seems that uh, it was a stunt for the publicity as far as this fringe group is concerned. Yes. They have learnt it from their other, uh, you know, uh, examples uh, like the Sriram Sena and other uh, other fringe groups, those who have indulged in some in the same kind of activities before. Uh, they were then picked up by the police and once they were brought to the Indrapuram police station, there were about uh, 15 to 20 of them who start, who, uh, who laid a siege at the police station. Yes. It was only after the police had to use mild force that it was cleared. Very quickly, Shiva, if I can show you the aftermath of what has happened now. Uh, we are at uh, Ahmadni party office now and uh, you can see this uh, police picking this uh, uh, this armored police picket has been uh, put in place here. It's a bulletproof police picket in which uh, an armed personnel is standing. Yes. Uh, uh, Ghaziabad police has also said that now uh, 10 cops, uh, one sub-inspector and nine armed constables will be uh, at the Ash Koshambi office of the Ahmadni party 24-7. They said that despite Arvind Kejriwal and the party refusing to take security, it is uh, their uh, jurisdiction as far as the law and order situation is concerned and they are ensuring that uh, no, uh, the repeat of such incidents do not take place. Uncle just stay with me for a moment. I want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, take our viewers through some of the reactions uh, that have come through the day on this particular attack. Obviously, uh, you know, it was it, it was always going to be an issue that was going to be politicized. The attack has triggered a very ugly war of words between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP. The Aam Aadmi Party has blamed the BJP and its so-called affiliated groups for the attack. The Prashant Bhushan says that these are the same people who earlier attacked him. प्रशांत जी का कत्ल करना चाहते हैं, प्रशांत जी को मारना चाहते हैं, हमारे ऑफिसेज में तोड़फोड़ करना चाहते हैं, मेरे खिलाफ नारेबाजी कर रहे हैं, मुझे मारना चाहते हैं, मैं उनको ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि अगर मुझे मारने से, या प्रशांत जी को मारने से, या हमारे ऑफिसेज में तोड़फोड़ करने से, अगर कश्मीर का समाधान होता हो, तो वो मुझे जगह बता दें, सम, समय बता दें, स्थान बता दें, मैं आ जाऊँगा मुझे मार लें, अगर इससे देश की कश्मीर की समस्या का समाधान होता हो तो तो मैं उन लोगों को जिन्होंने तोड़फोड़ किया मैं उनको बातचीत के लिए बुलाता हूँ कि आओ बात करते हैं सारे मीडिया के सामने बात करते हैं कि क्या चाहते हो तुम हम भी सुने भाई कैसे कश्मीर का समस्या सॉल्व होती है हमें भी तो पता चले कैसे सॉल्व होती है आए तो सही बात तो करें